if you want to know what's going on. And there's always been a fight between Watch Hill and Rhode Island, and this carousel is who is the oldest continuously running carousel. We won. My name is John C. Anderson. I'm a painting and restoration contractor here at Martha's Vineyard, and I've been doing that since 1981 and I work for the Preservation Trust who owns the Flying Horses since 1982, painting all the historic buildings and then I started to restore the historic buildings and that brought me into working on the Flying Horses. When the Trust bought it, they did research on restoring the horses, finding again old black and white photographs from different people on the island that collected photographs of that. This is 1884 color, original color. Very little touch up was done. These carousels when they were built were vibra vibrantly colorful. They were always kept up so they were bright and cheerful for the kids or kids of heart. This is a representation of color from 1884. And we got back some of the blanket details. Um, it's a little finial thing on the, on the saddle. The teeth were more exaggerated. They look like teeth instead of just a rounded piece of wood. In the carousel business, so to speak, there's websites that you can find, that you can find all the parts and pieces if you need it. So I found a lady, got manes and tails, from the culled herds of wild horses in our southwest. So these are from wild mustangs from the southwest of America. Another great feature of the horses are the glass eyes. They're called shooters from the game Marbles. Inside the eyes are little lead animals. These panel paintings were restored some of the original panel paintings left the carousel as it got sold from owner to owner because these are irreplaceable pieces of art. So this is a, a true representation of what I was told was the Hudson River School of Art. They were just mass produced, quick strokes, no going back. The carousel closes Labor Day. The first thing that happens to the carousel is the trust people come in and they clean everything above the carousel. That takes about a week. Then we come in and set up. We take all the tails, manes, and tack off. So they're stripped relatively down to bare horse. I work leather, I work wood, work the paint, fix the tails, fix the manes. So every year we've done that since 1986. Anyway, I just take pride that I do this. I would love to see these behind glass and never have another rider on it, just have it go round and round and round. But because it's living art, historic living art, it brings character and it always has had character for the vineyard and especially the town of Oak Bluffs. And this island cannot be without the flying horses.
I was born on the vineyard. Carousel is part of my life. And when I got to see it from the inside as the first year of my management, it was like, oh yeah, this is where I'm supposed to be, and I love it. This past winter, I was in the hospital, and a nurse came in, and she asked me, where are you from? And I said, Martha's Vineyard. And she says, um, my favorite place is the Flying Horses. And I was like, that's me. I'm the manager, been there 34 years. She's like, oh my God, an amazement. And I realized how important the Flying Horses is to so many people. But to actually have somebody present it that way, you're like, yeah, it is a special place. It's magical. I think my role here is sort of like the jokester, the jester. I talk to the young kids. If you'll notice, each horse has a spike on the top for the rings. The young girls now think those are unicorns. And I tell them, let your imaginations go, guys. I'll tell them, oh, we have to buckle you on really good. Why, I won't fall off. No, because the horses might jump the fences and go to the beach. I imagine that the horses are coming alive, going around the island. These children who are in some kind of pain for something, emotional pain. And I imagine maybe Duke or Martha or Maggie Bell are there to console them and say, hey, it's all right, life goes on. I love the people that walk in here and go, oh my God, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. That's what keeps me going. And my hope for the future of this woman that approached me about 10 or 12 years ago, she told me she first rode this in 1928 when she was two years old. She was back with her great granddaughters. Since 1912, my grandmother was born on the vineyard. She rode it, my parents rode it, my kids rode it, I rode it. Now my grandchildren are riding it. There's your art. You know, it's priceless. Watch more Art Inc. with new episodes uploaded every Wednesday on ripbs.org slash artinc.